And so what you see is deaths are correlated to the length of the day. If you look at a publication in the United States, I've seen it, where they map out the amount of deaths per, in a calendar day, cardiac disease, respiratory disease, kidney disease, uh, pneumonia, um, all sorts of diseases, infectious diseases, non-infectious diseases, you will see a very clear pattern. The maximum amount of deaths every year occurs within a month after the shortest day of the year. So we're talking December, January. We see the most amount of influenza deaths at that time. We see the most amount of cardiac deaths at that time. We see the most amount of kidney deaths at that time. So you might ask, well, that, that's, because, uh, that's because people get together at Christmas time and they spread the germs around more. And we have Thanksgiving in late November here in the United States. And, and, and that's what's going on. The problem is, is if you look at Australia, which is on the other end. So when is their longest day of the year? Their longest day of the year is in December. And that's when they have the least amount of deaths, despite the fact that they're all getting together for Christmas in December.